Hello, hi, um, my name's Mo. Um, I thought today I'd just have a little talk um, about the coronavirus. <laughs> um, so if you, um, if you know me in real life or um, you follow me on Instagram, you, you'll probably know um, <laughs> a bit about what's happened um, to my life because of the coronavirus. Um, I thought I'd talk about it because I know I'm not the only person in this situation and I know there are people who are way, way worse off than I am. Um, and I thought it would just be kind of interesting to kind of share stories and just talk about how it's affected everyone, I guess, because it, at this point it's pretty much affected everyone. I mean, I'm in New Zealand. Um, I live in New Zealand. We're a tiny little island. I thought we'd be safe here, because we usually are in New Zealand most of the time. Shit hits the wall everywhere else and New Zealand is like, <laughs> we're just chilling. Not this time. Um, so basically what's happening in New Zealand, if you didn't know. Um, the day after tomorrow, which is Wednesday, uh, Wednesday the 25th of March, the entire country is going um, on a full lockdown. I can't believe I'm saying that. That, that is mental. The entire country. Um, so I, I moved up to Wellington because um, I, I lived in Dunedin uh, and I moved up to Wellington to study at university. I'm doing um, theatre and film. Um, and I hadn't even been there four weeks. Um, I'd only been three weeks at university and it's and it's completely shut down now. Um, I'm, I'm at a university hall. They're all shutting down. So tomorrow I'm catching a flight and I'm going back to Dunedin and I'm pretty gutted because I just started a new life here in Wellington and like, you know, if, if you're, you know, I'm 18 and it's at that age, it's just like, you just want to get out of the house. Well, I do anyway. I just, I didn't want to be home anymore. I didn't really like Dunedin that much. I didn't have, it wasn't the right place for me. And I get to Wellington and I'm like, this is amazing. I love this city. It's such an, you know, it's such a creative and diverse city. And it's just like, I just love it. Not even three weeks in, I have to go back and it's just like I'd finally got away I finally got away and I have to go back um, and I'll probably lose quite a lot of money um, from university as well because um, the first year of university in New Zealand is free um, but because of the coronavirus I'm, I'm gonna drop out of uni for the rest of this year because I'm doing a theatre and film course where, I can't do that online. Well, I mean, I could, but it would be really rubbish, wouldn't it? Like, who wants to do a theatre and film course online? Um, I also have ADHD, so even if I tried to do it online, my brain would just be like, and I'd probably fail. So I'm gonna drop out until next year, but that means when I go back next year, I'm gonna have to pay for university. So my first year is not gonna be free. Um, and and I already paid lots of money to stay in the hall, um, I and so that's rubbish. Um, <laughs> but I I think hopefully 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 we'll get refunded for that. Um, what with the you know the corona virus and everything, um, I um, I won't be able to get a student loan because. Well, I'm not at university anymore, so I'll be really tight for, for money. So I'm going to try and work at a supermarket, um, which I, I feel like is either going to be two things. Uh, one, there are no jobs available because everybody has gone, shit, I need a, a job. How about I work in a supermarket? Because that's the only job, really, that you can easily get that um, isn't going to be shut, shutting down. Um, or... There will be lots of jobs available because everyone's gone, nah, I don't want corona, and they've gone and fucked off, which, fair enough. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get a job at the supermarket. 
Um, but honestly, you know, the, the whole world is being affected. I mean, my, my entire plan for what I'm, I'm going to do has just been fucked up, basically. But, I mean, at least I, I have a place to go back to. At least I have somewhere to stay. Some people, they're going to literally be homeless because they can't go to work and get money to pay for rent because the coronavirus is shut down where they're going to work. So they're out on the streets homeless in the midst of this crisis. Um, it's ridiculous. And obviously homeless shelters, they're, they're kind of closing down too because there are too, too many people on them and that's going to make the virus spread. And so it's just, it's mental. It's really mental. And, um, something that's annoying me. I keep seeing celebrities posting about it online and like how they're in, um, you know, quarantine, self-isolation, social distancing, all that. And it's like, oh yeah, we're, we're doing all this. And they're like, oh, just acting like they're saints. But it's like, you live in a multi-million dollar mansion. Social distancing and self-isolation is pretty easy for you. You can go to your, you know, home cinema. You can have a swim in your, you know, your spa pool. What about the people who, you know, can't make their rent or ca can't have enough money to get, you know, the essentials? What about the people who are stuck in a household with, you know, abusive family members? It's just, the, the disconnect is just, it's really mind blowing and it makes me angry because the people who should be given a voice right now, the people who will actually genuinely be struggling from all the virus and all that, they're not getting a voice because they don't have a platform. But the people, obviously the people who, you know, have a platform are the people with, well, they tend to be the people with money. So they're like, oh, look at me. I'm being creative. I'm, you know, I'm learning to crochet in self-isolation, which, you know, a good good for you, have fun, crochet in self-isolation, but don't act like you've got it really bad, because you don't. I mean, like, it's just, it's just awful, I'm, I'm gutted, um, all, lots of my friends, they've had to, um, leave Wellington to, to go, go back to their home, home, hometowns, and, um, you just, I don't know, you just get settled in it. It's like, I'm about to start my new life. I'm about to go to uni, I'm about to get a degree, I'm about to do all this stuff, and then it's just like, boom. You're not anymore. Yeah. But I, I'd be really interested in hearing um, different stories from different people and, and the ways that um, corona has affected everybody. Um, my, my dad is a doctor and he's gonna be working um, you know, to help people with, with corona. Um, so there's a high chance he's gonna get the um, virus. So that's, that's a bit scary. Um, he's, he's pretty healthy, so I, hopefully he'd, he'd be fine. Um, I've got asthma and um, there's this other really weird thing with my lungs. I'm not quite sure if there's a name for it, but it like, I, I've got two weird things with my lungs, um, so I guess um, that probably puts me at a higher risk. I, I haven't really looked into it much, so I don't know, but um, I've got to be self-isolating too. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be weird. It's currently uh, nearly 12 o'clock and I have a plane to catch tomorrow, so I should probably get some sleep. But um, I hope everyone is doing okay. Stay safe, um, and not not just safe in yourself. Try make sure you make sure you're keeping others safe too. Because I think we we often think, well, I'm I'm not sick, you know. I don't feel I feel fine, you know. But I, people forget there's a, there's a 14 day incubation period, so you could have the virus but not know, and you could go around spreading that to everybody. Um, so even if you think you're fine, self-isolate because you might not be. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think that's kind of all I, I've got to say. <laughs> I, I would say I hope you enjoyed, but it, 
it's not really a very enjoyable video, is it? Um, stay safe. Have a good day, if you can. See ya.